love bugs is rustling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome into my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for you know being in uh being on this journey with me being able to be a teacher as well as a student is truly a blessing you know i feel like we're all learning off of each other and we're all connecting in such a beautiful way that you know we're having a beautiful family that's accumulating so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light the many blessings are definitely coming your way if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact of gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so, you know, especially if in, in their empath, you know, um, if they're going through some traumatizing times right now or confusing times where they need to know their soul path or even their life purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, my um, my music, my background music that I'm using is very peaceful. It's called Magic Happens When You Connect Into the Present Moment of Now. Power Miracles, ASMR 3D Nature. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. When painful situation changes you in a positive way, uh, seeing the bigger picture of your current circumstances it is so true you know it you can always it's always depending on how you look at your situation because i know when you're like first when it first hits you it can be you know traumatizing it can be very stressful it can really put you in a very bad place um but it's like the more you're on your journey you know this is for you you know where you're discovering yourself for who you truly are because it's like our spiritual self has been dormant for so long like i've told y'all before but i know there's more people that are recently subscribing where you know you can go through different situations and you know it would be hard for you to be able to let all those things seek into you that you know you you've always been this spiritual guidance you always been this spiritual form until they stuck you in that daggone you know uh human suit and just for something to be laying dormant for so long since like we had to have chain of events uh chain of events happen to us in our lives for us to be able to say you know I'll look back and see all the things that we went through you know I look at all the things that I had to deal with in this current life that I was uh, dealing with you know not being able to you know fit in with people you know always not you know taking making jokes being very shock worthy on the certain things that I will talk about you know there was a lot of people always told me Roz I can't believe you said that you know I constantly got that growing up and I was like are you gonna be honest and say that you weren't thinking it too I'm just that person that just says it or my daughters will tell me, Mom, do you say everything that's on your mind? I said, damn near. She's like, Mom, that's not good. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, well, you know, I, I'd rather be honest than be beating around the bush. bush. But through these situations that I've caught myself in, like I was saying in the other video, you know, life has a way of teaching you through pain, through hardship, through struggles, through failures, through setbacks mistakes all these things is make helping you better yourself you know you're gonna make many mistakes on the way you want to have those setbacks you know you're, you're gonna just struggle fall flat on your face but the true meaning is what are you gonna do with your situation are you gonna allow your situation to make you have a pity party play victim or are you gonna actually do something about your situation like okay something got to give something got to change I want to be happy I you know I want to be able to live free you know, all these different things that, you know, has been placed in your life for a positive reason. Like I told y'all, I went through all my situations and there's a lot of times that I get upset and ask God why, 
that these happen this happened to me thinking in the back of my mind i ain't signed up for this and then you know my my higher self was like yes you did you already knew you were gonna go through this you just don't remember you know you you signed up for this daggone crazy situation you've been placed in you know because there's a lot of times y'all don't share with me the things that has gone and occurred in your life and i'm just like how the hell did somebody live through something like that but then i look at my situation just like you did <laughs> just like you did you might be cuckoo for cocoa puffs your elevator might not go all the way through the 13th floor and your radio may not be tuned but you're here you know you had to go through all these crazy situations there are so many things you know i'm so happy for y'all for y'all and proud of y'all for the ones especially that has been with me for a while you know i'm still proud of you even when i don't really know your circumstances or your situation because those situations as you know it really puts you in a whirlwind of emotions, roller coaster of emotions. But they have taught you a lot of positive things. It's just how, what kind of perception are you looking at your situation, your circumstances? What, you know, level of circumstance, you know, perception are you looking at it from? You know, point of view. Are you looking at it in a negative point of view? Are you looking at it, you know, from a positive point of view? You know, it's just like, I, I always used to say, damn. You know, I've lost a lot of friends along the way, learning the things I've learned. You know, finding out who I was related to has made me cut a lot of cords with people. You know, a lot of times I wonder when people are in my life, were they genuinely being in my life because of me or are you being in my life because who I was related to? There was a lot of people I had to cut out my life just because they were obsessed with my dad. So, and it was like for them, to know who I was and who I was related to and they say you look just like them there was a lot of people that tolerated me and dealt with me you know even though they showed their horns because they were obsessed with my dad so that was like their connection of talking to me is like was talking to my dad you know and it was just like a lot of things that I really had to deal with it wasn't you know the kindest experience but it's always taught me something you know I try to love beyond all measures not try to make you know my situation that in make me you know you know project out bitterness towards the world because it was not so pretty projections put out for me you know me assuming going down this line that people would love me about as much as they love my dad because of who my dad was they would love me the same but that wasn't true you know people would you know love me with limitations i always tell y'all never never be in nobody's life where they love you for limitations as it i mean you know, a lot of y'all probably know what I mean, but it's just like, you know, people will love you if you're not doing better than them. Or they love you if you're not, you know, shining, you know, showing your light. People will love you with when it comes, you know, they're putting tags on the reason why they love you. Not for genuinely loving you for the person you are. You know, how you're caring, how you're, you have a kind heart. You know, a lot of people do that. You know, they'll support you as long as you're not doing better than them. And I had to deal with a lot of people like that. People still come into my life, you know, uh, for those type of reasons. Just to make sure, oh, let me make sure she doesn't get better or let me be a couple of steps ahead of her so I can ruin what she got going on. There's a lot of people, you know, I, I became to that point where I'm antisocial. You know, if it's meant for a person to be in my life on that one-on-one -on -one level, it'll happen. But it allowed me to be able to use discernment on if there, you know, is there smoke screens y'all trying to play towards me or you're really truly being there for who you truly were. You know, there was a lot of things I had to go through dealing with that, you know, and it's a blessing even though it was hard because i've lost a lot of so-called friendships with people but then when they found out who i was it became an issue you know people said what you're dealing with is too heavy and i can't deal with that and i'm just like well damn you know if you're a friend you know you you were really truly my friend you would be there like i was for you because there was a lot of people i was there with them up and down up and down you know they could call me at any time and then when it came towards me I didn't have that same in return. I used to get mad, but then I had to keep telling myself, not everybody has the same kind of heart that you do. You know, just because you were there for them doesn't mean that you might get that in return. And that still didn't put anger in my heart or make me love anybody any less. You know, but it allowed me to say, with situations that I part ways with, like I've said before, I don't miss, wish any ill will towards anybody that I stop talking to. I hope they can grow learn from their situations, learn from their mistakes, and heal from whatever has got them in that position to, you know, that wants to come out towards people that way, to want to project towards people that way. 
you know and I mean it's just like life teaches you a lot of things about that it humbled me a lot and made me feel like I'm blessed beyond measures knowing even though life was not you know that that nice to me you know I still felt like I can still project love out you know a lot of people are like Roz and I'll be so lost without you and I was and that really made me feel good you know I was just glad I was being able to make sense towards somebody's drastic and crazy situations that's been placed into their life not you know sugarcoating anything but not trying to be little or demean somebody you know things like that happen you know I've had that going up in my life where you know people weren't showing support towards me like that but I was able to do that with them you know and I mean that's a blessing towards me you know it's just like like I said I love to be able to help people understand why you had to go through what you went through what things you know I'm going through and what things I had to heal from for me to be able to see what I needed to see in that circumstance it's like yeah I not, might not be where I want to be right now but I'm not giving up to where I want to be either you know I'm having faith within myself I'm having faith in the universe that I know my situation is going to take me to a place that I truly would love to be you know being able to help others you know put to meaning why you are the way you are why you're that unique person you know you're not an affliction you're not you know somebody that somebody needs to shy away from but you know people fear what they don't understand you know they try to label us is with these mental illnesses when they were actually gifts you know so that's a beautiful thing to be able to do you know and being able to talk about it and make videos for it. you know I understand why I had to go through these things to be able to help other people you know be that torchbearer for other people that are going through things you know a lot of people tell me Roslyn you know they don't have a lot of Hayoka videos out you know I don't know if they have a lot of Hayoka videos out unless it's drawn to my attention I don't really look for them you know I'm just doing my part you know and it was just like because when I first started they didn't have too much things on Hayoka is like I can read upon a lot of things but it was like it you know you would think Hayoka was kind of tabooish if they didn't talk about it but you know it became very interesting to me you know I've always been you know drawn to the Joker I've always been drawn to the dark side you know um, and then when it came to Native American history I loved that as well and never knew why and now I know why you know I have like when I was doing my videos when y'all if y'all been with me for a long time I used to do my videos in my um, little sanctuary I used to call it little Jamaica when I used to smoke up them trees up in there be up in there you know smoking with Bob Marley you know now I just don't do that no more even though he's still my spirit guy you know uh, that have me a, a picture of Heath Ledger you know dressed up as the Joker and I've had that since you know I think it was like right after he you no know, before even he passed away I bought that big picture and it was like a very huge picture that I had that I was just like wow <laughs> and did not know what this was meaning and it was it's even crazy that my dad dressed up as the Joker in one of his videos because he loved Batman he did the whole soundtrack to Batman so it was just like all those different things it, it played is part of me knowing this just like when you go through your spiritual awakenings and you really look back on seeing the things that was basically giving you hints about your life for a long time you were drawn towards certain things there are certain places you went there are certain things you choose to do in your life or there are certain things like with me my my thing has always been movies and music through my whole life and you know knowing that felt so daggone <laughs> it fit me to the point where I was like dang they were trying to tell me for the longest time I just wasn't putting two and two together but you know you have that veil over your head for so long until they feel like okay they went through enough you know let me go ahead and add a little extra to it just so they can know where they are you know shake your life up for you to be able to have that shock you know value in your life to know hey this is your empath you're this and you're this and that you know to go through all those crazy situations but then when everything's all said and done and you're finally healing and seeing that bigger picture of why you had to go through the things you had to go through it'll make a lot of sense to you it really will so it's just like you have to be able to see the positive out of your tragic situation you have to be able to see that even though these things have been placed in your life it didn't allow you to become bitter from what you have experienced so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video I'm not trying to talk about a lot of negative stuff but you know hey universe puts these you know these things in my way and they tell me I got to talk about them you know I got to send a message 
but I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I'm sending so much love to, let me see, uh, Greg Holster, uh, Greg uh, Shika, Sh Sh S K A. You know, much love to you from my friend from Poland. I don't know, sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong. Uh, and Edge of the Sun, much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. So now as much love and light, positivity as you possibly can. Know you're truly blessed, highly favored, forever love. And knowing there's somebody out there praying for you better days. So now as much love and light, positivity as you possibly can. And like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know if you resonate with this. Share, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, be wild.